Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to install my favorite free vector graphic illustration software, Inkscape. With this free software, you can create two dimensional scalable vector graphic diagrams, logos, programmatic marketing materials, web graphics, and even use it for paper scrapbooking. Here we will be using it for creating data figures illustrations or infographics. And I'll show you how to use this great tool on this playlist. With the recent release of Inkscape 1.1 in May 2021, I thought it is time to revise many of my videos and add new stuff for you. And once again, this versatile tool is entirely free. First of all, let me show you how you can get Inkscape. To get Inkscape, Open up your web browser and type in the website address www.inkscape.org. This will take you to the Inkscape homepage. So what is Inkscape? It is kind of like Adobe Illustrator, Sketch, Affinity Designer or Corel Draw. All of these applications and their alternatives can be used to draw vector graphics. The nice thing about Inkscape, however, it is entirely free and it's also open source, meaning its source code is made freely available for possible modification and redistribution. On the home page, you will see two download icons. You can click on download up here and this will give you access to downloading the current version, latest development version or extensions. Or you can click down below and this takes us to the main download page and here you can download the latest version of Inkscape that matches your operating system. And you see that it is available for all operating systems like Linux, Windows or Mac OS. I will click on Windows since that is my operating system. This drops you on this page where you can choose between a 64-bit or a 32-bit architecture. My computer has a 64-bit architecture, so it can run both a 64-bit and 32-bit software. A computer with a 32-bit architecture can only run 32 and not 64-bit software. So I click on the 64-bit version and this drops us on this page showing us different file types we can download. The executable and MSI file types allow you to install immediately. The compressed format allows you to download a standalone folder with all components of the program within. We will see this in a bit when talking about running more than one version of Inkscape on the same machine. If you wish to install, click here to kick off the download process and then also run through the installation procedure like with any software. Once you've finished downloading and installing Inkscape, go down to your taskbar and type in Inkscape and then click on the match showing its icon. This welcome window will open up prompting you to set up your preferences. You can disable it opening up upon each new start by clicking this checkbox on the lower left corner. Let us say you wish to have the welcome window guide you. You can change the style and color of your canvas, change the shortcut keys to match those of other programs you may be transitioning from, or change the appearance. And using this toggle, you can turn on the dark mode. When done, you can click on save which drops you on the next welcome window. And here you have icons that will lead you to information on how you can contribute to the program by volunteering your time or by funding. Clicking on thanks drops you on the final page of the welcome screen. Here you can open a recent document or create a new document based on predefined templates. Clicking on any of these tabs on the left leads you to templates. Let us click on the print tab. 
The template interface for print file format allows you to choose off from different document types labeled with descriptive titles and dimensions. And further clicking on the other tabs reveals different templates for screen, video, and social media. Once you have decided which template you want to use, double clicking on it opens a new document. And right now, we have a blank canvas on which we can begin creating vector graphic illustrations. But before we start to learn how to use Inkscape in the next video, let us learn how we can run two versions of Inkscape on the same computer, an older version of Inkscape and a new stable one. On the home page, you will see two download icons. You can click on download up here and this will give you access to downloading the current version, latest development version, or extensions. Select the current version and this opens up a new page showing you the current version as well as some highlights of new features. It also shows you a list of different versions of Inkscape. Now, at least for me personally, I always like using the most recent stable release since this has the most recent features. But this may have some bugs that may not allow certain things to work like they used to do before. And here is a big argument to have an older version. Let us say I want to run version 0.92 on my computer. I will click on the version. This will drop us on this page where I can choose my operating system. I choose Windows, which will drop us on the next page. Here I choose 64 bits since my computer has a 64 bit architecture. Instead of downloading installation files, I will click this time around on this zip folder to download. Once the download is over, I will extract it into an empty folder. Once the extraction is done, I can access that folder and double click on the Inkscape icon to run version 0.92 alongside version 1.1 on my computer. And right now, we have a blank canvas of Inkscape version 0.92 on which we can begin creating vector graphic illustrations. All right, that is how you can install the latest stable release of Inkscape as well as install a previous version on the same computer if you wish. To see more videos on Inkscape in the future, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If there are specific things on Inkscape you want me to cover, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we will take a look at the interface.